Hey Internet, I'm Steve and welcome to Ratho. This is obviously not an interview with Steve Argyle, and there's one main reason for that. He's a really cool guy, so he ended up talking for almost an hour. That's gonna take me a little bit of time to edit. I will include the giveaway winner announcement at the end of this video, but in the meantime, Stormlight Minis Kickstarter! Guys, these things are gorgeous. Brotherwise Games, the makers of the Stormlight Archive Call to Adventure game, have just launched a Kickstarter in partnership with Dragonsteel, official Stormlight Archive miniatures and figurines. And these aren't just cool versions of your favorite characters. This entire project was basically an excuse for Isaac Stewart and Ben McSweeney to create actual canon versions of the main characters, clarifying and finalizing details about peoples, races, and cultures for the very first time. And that's what these are, official canon versions. This is what Kaladin looks like. This is Eshenai. And yes, Zeth is still facepalming. There are basically six tiers on this Kickstarter, reflecting a person's journey and financial commitment to the Stormlight Archive. If you have not read the associated book, be aware that there are spoilers. Buy everything anyway, but just don't look at it until you finish. For $30, you can get the Way of Kings set, which includes miniatures of Dalinar in shard plate, Eshenai I in war form, bridge boy Kaladin, Sil, Zeth, Sun, Sun, Volano, Truthless of Shinovar, who will wear white depending on what you paint him, and Shalon with a sword instead of a drawing pad. And here I thought the pen was mightier. Technically from at least Words of Radiance, but it's fine. $55 brings you the Words of Radiance minis, Captain Kaladin, Adolin in shards, pattern in cryptic form, Veil, vale, and the, at least by the time I finished this, yet to be revealed Caravangian and Wit. $80 gets you to Oathbringer, the previous set plus Yasna, Bondsmith Dalinar, Zeth and Nightblood, Renarin with Gliss, Lift, and it looks like Windle, and a Heavenly One. We're all gonna name her Leshwi. A hundred dollars finally gets you to Rhythm of War. Guys, holy crap. Adolin with a great sword. It's about to get real gory in Shadesmar. Navani, Venli in Envoy form, Maya shouting something apparently very important, Vire with Yezrian's Honor Blade. Curious to know how many of those will be purchased just to be destroyed. Journey before destination you bat and for the first time ever Kaladin in full Windrunner plate and is that bridge four emblazoned on his chest piece yeah it is <laughs> for $75 more you get minis from all four books two Aleti soldier minis two Parshendi warriors digital files for those four plus a generic shard bearer and a chul a big old chasm fiend and larger painted figures of Captain Kaladin Yasna Adolin in shards and Skybreaker Zeth and if that's not enough at the highest tier $475. You get all of that, whatever exclusive stretch goals, and a nearly foot tall premium resin statue of Cal and Zeth fighting above the clashing storms. It's so it's expensive. Plus, we've already reached some stretch goals. I mean, a million dollars within the first day. The Way of King set is officially going to have seven minis. The Lopin has joined Bridge 4. I assume we're also going to get other significant Bridge 4 members by the end of the campaign. At least Rock and Teft, likely. As well as Risen, maybe Amaram, Relaine. Heck, I'd love a Zahel. Or the Pursuer or Raboniel or Sadius, or for those of you who also backed the Year of Sanderson Kickstarter, we'll also be getting a mini version of Talonel, Herald of War. And they'll be using a combination of high quality PVC and thermoplastic to give every mini the best combination of strength and detail. Which is good, because I really don't want my Talon to break. It also means there's a good chance that Sill will actually be translucent, which is cool. Because this is being entirely run by Brotherwise, shipping is actually a lot more reasonable than the last Kickstarter. They've got a significantly more robust fulfillment system in place, which brings down shipping prices significantly. I mean, still really pricey, but less pricey than others. The really exciting thing is the fact that these miniatures are actually harbingers of an upcoming Stormlight Archive TTRPG by Brotherwise and Dragonsteel. Not officially announced yet, but in the FAQ section of the Kickstarter, I mean... Brandon has also equally unofficially announced eventual Kickstarters for a Hoyd storybook collection, picture books of the dog and the dragon, Wander Sail and the girl who looked up, that Stormlight tabletop game, and a Stormlight board game. These will likely happen in the next few years, as Brandon doesn't want to do more than two Kickstarters per year. One for books and one for products. So basically just expect at least one Sanderson-related crowdfunding project every year. 
start budgeting it in now, folks. Speaking of cool Sanderson things, thanks everyone for participating in the Urbis Protector giveaway. Here is Steve Argyle himself drawing the winners. The rest of the interview should be coming soon. That's all the questions I have. So thank you for talking with me today. We should have a drawing and not yes. an art drawing, but a pick out of a fancy bowl drawing. Thank you everyone for participating in this giveaway for an autographed copy of Urbis Protector signed mm. by Steve Argyle and Brandon Sanderson. Uh, we're going to pick oh. two winners. I have a foil copy and a non-foil copy. Let's have Stargyle himself. Oh, look, it's... 46. I forgot to bring the names, so we're just doing numbers. <laughs> uh, it's, it'll be fine. This person! They just won the foil one! Yay! <laughs> and... Number two is... 63. Congratulations! Thank you for participating in that giveaway. Uh, also, thank you again to Steve for actually consenting <laughs> me coming into his house and interviewing him. Uh, well, thank you. It was a lot of fun. It, it's my pleasure. Uh, thank you also to James Banus of House of Banus Media. Thank you for him. He, he came and helped us film today, which was very nice. Also, also thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon, specifically. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Who get to see all of my videos up to a week early. Part three of Cosmere Connections is coming soon. Uh, that will be in two weeks. But before that, come and say hi to both of us Steves at FanX, which is going to be in Salt Lake City. I'm not actually going to be at FanX. I lied. Don't, I'm not, that. we're going to cut that. <laughs> come say hi to me at FanX. I'll be performing with Grassroots. But I will be at Dragonsteel Con. Yeah! Not too much later. I'm officially going to be a panelist on that. Fantastic. So that'll be cool. Awesome. I'll Alcatraz 6 is coming out next week, so read and find out! Raffo! I'm gonna need to cut it down significantly. I'll probably make just the audio available as a podcast if anyone's interested.